Yo, what's up subscribers? How's it going? Subscribers like right now it's like 23 subscribers. So that is like so cool. I'm like proper awesome because I've got like nobody on my channel. <laughs> so I'll do a little Q and A as something different. Um, I just finished the gym today. Uh, oh, by the way, I run a business in Thailand. Um, so if I keep looking away, it's actually to check if I've got a customer or not. In the background, you hear my son, my son shouting at me um, because uh, he wants me to push him on a swing. But I'm not into swinging. Uh, so questions and answers. Um, a common question for me is how I lost my legs. Uh, January 6, 2000, I was uh, out for a jog. Um, it was uh, almost middle of the night. Uh, I was a very high, like, keen sportsman. Uh, I was training for one of my sports, and uh, to cut a long story short, uh, I did a 10 mile run. Uh, just didn't get the right diet or exercise uh, regime correct, and um, I got really dizzy. As I approached um, the end of my jog, I got to around seven to eight miles, and uh, I, I, I sort of fainted, but didn't faint. I was just all over the place. And then the final uh, part of it, I realized that that was in a very bad way. Uh, my jog was at night, remember, January 6, 2000. Um, realizing the condition I was in, uh, in London, icy cold, uh, sweating like a pig's ass. Um, I realized the situation was getting bad. I might get hypothermia because I started shivering. Anyway, I took a couple of steps and realized I was going to probably collapse. There was a pedestrian crossing with the gates up. Um, a railway crossing. I proceeded over to the crossing, took a couple of steps and I fainted and uh, I woke up the train uh, about to hit my legs. In fact, if I'm honest, it's gonna hit my neck and my wriggly diggly bit downstairs. My mandangles, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, a train uh, came along. I managed to pull myself almost all the way off the line, but not enough. And it chopped my legs off. Well, actually it left them just hanging. I saved my own life that night because I made a tourniquet out of my uh, training lace, uh, trainer's laces or sneakers, I guess if you're American. Uh, lifted my legs up high and called, uh, called for help. Luckily, the help came, and I'm here to tell the story. The second thing, uh, as an amputee, that I think a lot of people really do want to know um, is what are phantom pains, and it's something that I genuinely do suffer with. It's 20 years now I've had this. 20 damn years and I still get the phantom pains. They're the pains where, for me, and everybody's different, mind you, uh, for me, it's like cramp. Um, my, my foot feel like, feels like the day it got hit by the train. It, it's excruciating, if I'm honest, uh, so much so that sometimes I've taken medication. Uh, I'm not gonna give the name of my medication because um, that's between me and my doctors. Uh, and my uh, my meth dealer and my crack dealer and uh, my heroin dealer, uh, my you know that's between all of us. Uh, I don't don't mind an eight ball. That's a joke, obviously. Um, so yeah, phantom pain. Uh, it hits us in many different ways. Most people get like a tingling sensation. Some people get. Um, the cramps that I get, some get a feeling like the last thing that happened to them. And mine is this, uh, I get severe cramps. Uh, another question, uh, how do I shower? That's a fucking dumb question, isn't it? How do you shower? I don't. I'm a dirty, smelly tramp. I never shower. I don't like to shower. My willy's got loads of white all over it and, and cheese and my bum still got tissue and poo. Let me dumb. How do I shower? I take my legs off. I take my legs off, unclip them, go in the shower on my knees. Um, very simple way of cleaning, but actually we have to clean our legs a lot more than anything else. Uh, stump care is really, really important if you're an amputee. Stump care is so, so important because what happens is we sweat more than we would normally sweat 
and I'll, if you wear the socks that I wear, which are um, silicon, you have a really big issue with the leg not breathing, which is awful and really embarrassing. Um, if I do a flight, because uh, this, isn't a, this isn't a joke, I really am a pilot, I fly a pretty big aircraft um, and do medium haul to long haul. And if I was to do uh, a route, for example, where my legs have to stay on for 12 hours to 15 hours, remember, we don't just fly the aircraft. We have to do pre-flight walk-arounds, uh, briefings, safety briefings, debriefs, uh, meetings, and uh, it takes a long time. So we do 12 to 15 hours of leg wearing. Believe me, they stink. It's an awful thing. Uh, it's like the worst version of foot dirty dirty feet. So stump care is important. I use a weak mix of Dettol uh, That floor cleaning shit all the stuff. I actually find that is really good. Dettol is so strong and uh, People don't seem to mind the smell of Dettol compared to other cleaning products um, Luckily, I don't use toilet duck. I should do is clean my butt, but I don't um, How do I have sex? Happens. I'm married, so it's actually a question that doesn't really count, does it? How do I have sex? If I'm lucky, I get it. Uh, same situation as taking your legs off. Um, I'm not embarrassed to talk about sex with, with an amputation. Uh, I have to take Viagra. Um, that isn't... There's nothing, I don't care. I've got no qualms about talking about things like that. I have really bad flow of blood, so keeping it up is a real pig, especially if I get phantom pain during it. Um, there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, if you can't get it up just because you're an amputee. My wife's not, uh, not ugly, so um, it's not like it's an issue like that. I can't talk in like a, in that sort of way. It's just, it is what it is. Sorry, I got a funny look at me. Why am I talking about Viagra? But <laughs> um, yeah, so it's really nothing to be embarrassed of. You know, if you if you're a new amputee in particular, the first few few months the, to the first two years, uh, it's a whole new world. You just do not know how to deal with life, and these are life goals like even masturbation. Um, how do you? It's not that not that uh, much of a personal thing, I guess. You know, everyone does it. Anyone says they don't do it, I'm pretty sure they're lying. Um, shake the shake the shank, wank the tank, uh, five knuckle shuffle, bash the bishop, uh, splay the porridge. Yeah, you want to call it what you want. But we have to do it. If as an amputee, um, I it's so awkward to explain this because it's not like it's an embarrassing question, or I'm not even embarrassed to answer. But when you have issues, sometimes it helps. Like my wife would do it for me, sometimes, very rarely. Um, but I get quite bad pains at that horrible point when you're releasing, you know, I don't want to say the word, because my son subscribes to my channel and my daughter. But um, yeah, you know, self-help, at the end of the day, something's going to happen at the very end. And it's incredibly painful for me. So I don't know if it's painful for other people, um, but it's because the body tenses up um, and then you release, don't you? And uh, it's quite painful. I can deal with it. Uh, okay, another question, how do I, do I get around? I drive a normal car. I can drive manual, automatic. Uh, my license are unrestricted. I've got a motorbike and I also had a big bike, uh, mo uh, manual gear. Uh, motorbike too so there's no no issues with me whatsoever changing gears on a motorbike I hook them rather than um, push them very simple no no modifications all this stuff about modifying you don't have to do it you really don't have to modify anything if you really know how to do what you're doing um, going to the beach now that one is a, a tricky one I uh, as a new amputee, um, stump care at the beach, my god, you really need to take care of it. It's amazing how many cuts and bruises you get from the stump um, because of the sand. Uh, I now actually pretty much quit going to the beach 
or I'll sit on the edge. I will not play. Um, I played at Christmas and ended up with uh, dislocation in my knee. Um, God, I smell got flies all over me. Um, just be careful and make sure you wash all the salt and sand off. Uh, apply cream if you can. Um, Sudacrim is the one I use. Works great. Um, it's like a thick uh, grease. Very good. Not Vaseline because it doesn't come off easy. Um, stairs, no issues. Bilat amputee, below knee, no issues at all. Ba my balance is fine. Um, just take your time. It's not a race to, to be to be standing, running, etc. There's nothing wrong with being an amputee, guys. Right, I think that's pretty much all I can say. Um, if there's anyone who wants to ask a question, you can ask me. I'm really not embarrassed to answer any questions to you guys. Um, and I don't want to give you the wrong information. So anyone that has different information from me, I'm 20 years an amputee. I, I think I'm doing pretty good. I have some good information, but there's always somebody has more. I'm out of here, guys. Take care.